Hi guys, welcome back to Dolores Studios. We are still on the transferring data in Android using the sync adapter. In our previous lesson, we talked about uh, the database structure where we created our contract and the DB helper. In this part, we'll be creating the provider which serves as uh, an underlying uh, structure on top of the SQLite database. And we'll have the ability to also create the sync uh, structure where we'll create the XML that houses the authentication and the sync adapter XML. And we'll look at the, uh, the authenticator itself and the authenticator service uh, in this part. Let's get started. Right here in Android Studio, let's take a brush through our content provider. I created a class called Movie Provider right there in this package data. This extends the content provider, as we all know, and we created the log, which actually are logs message in the console for debug purpose. We created two fields here, the URI matcher for the movies table, that's for all movies, and for a particular movie called the movie ID. We should have been acclimatized with the provider structure by now. Uh, and uh, I would like you to also follow me along. Now we have the URI matcher, which is actually going to point to the right path with the shade, uh, created an object from that. And we have a static initializer, which run the first time uh, when the class is being called. And inside this static initializer, uh, we have the URI matcher that's uh, of all the movies. What about we have the add URI and we get the path to the movies table and the movies identifier which we actually set as the finance integer over here and we also add for the movie with id probably you are going for a specific movie with probably id 3 or id 4 uh, we add also that with the movie id uh, joined with the path to the movies and uh, with uh, the ampersand which we have that now we have a database object created since we still need to interact with our database because the content provider serves as uh, a layer on top of the SQLite database. Uh, any data coming will be saved, will still be saved to the SQLite database but with the help of the content provider. So let's move on. And we actually need to override some methods uh, with the query method, uh, the get type, the insert, uh, the delete and the update. Those are the methods you have to override anytime you extend the activity content provider. So let's get to implement a few of those uh, methods. We'll get to integrate more of the uh, methods in later lessons when we'll need them. But presently, we only need for the insert. In the onCreate, we need to instantiate the DB helper, so it's going to be useful by instantiating it, the MDB helper. Cool. Now we just need to lock in values for the insert, since we just need to insert for now. When we have to delete, when we have to update, we we'll get to integrate uh, their functionalities. In the insert, uh, you actually call the URI matcher, so that we'll be able to know which part are we pointing at. Is it to all the movies or the movie with ID? as the sense of that and the case takes the match as its parameter and if it's movies definitely you are inserted to all movies so if it's all movies it's going to trigger a helper method called the insert movies that takes in two parameters the uri and the content values uh, so we have that let's look at the helper method how it's going to actually save those values into the database we first of all get the writable database since we have our DBA helper object created, now we call the get writable database on that. And we insert the new movie with the given values we have, which is the content values we have in over here. Now we call the insert to the object of the SQLite database. And we're passing the table name as parameter, the null value, and the values itself, which is the content values we are expecting. Now we test if the ID is minus one, then the insertion failed. So we need to log the error and return null. So the essence of the tag, we log that to tag to the console. So we'll be able to see 
uh, probably if there is uh, a failure while inserting. And uh, if not, we're going to notify all listeners that the data has changed for the movie. Oh, that's when uh, we are having a data change. When we get the context, we get the content resolver and we notify the change. Probably if you want to populate uh, the UI with that. So that's what uh, uh, that notify change is actually doing. But the insert will actually insert those values into the SQLite database. Now we need to return the new URI with the appended ID uh, of the newly inserted row. You know, we've actually inserted a new row. We need to return that URI. That's why we return the content URIs uh, with the appended URI, which takes in the URI as a parameter and the ID of that particular uh, inclusion. So that's what uh, the insert movies will be doing. We will we'll only be using the insert for now since we are actually trying to sync data from the cloud or from the API, the movie DB API, and uh, we will we'll be inserting those values into the SQLite database through the help of a provider. That's why we are implementing the insert for now. Let's quickly take a dive to the sync, the sync adapter we are uh, trying to implement in this particular playlist. For us to have a sync adapter set up, we need to first of all declare the XML and that takes us down to the XML, which we created as a, part, a, a different directory right there in the REST folder. And we created two XML files, the authenticator.xml and the syncadapter.xml. Let's get to look at what the authenticator is. Uh, it has a tag called the account authenticator when we, we want to create an account for that particular application, the sync account. Uh, we have the account type, which uh, actually uh, we created a string called the sync account type. Let's get to look at that in the values, the string XML. Uh, we have the sync account type, which is basically like uh, the, the the package, but this time the reverse. So it's used to become, but now we uh, swivel it to start from the uh, last, which is now the movies data sync .com. And the content authority still stands, com.dilarestudios.moviesdatasync. Cool. That's uh, I have the sync account type and the content authority. Back to the authenticator. And we get the icon. You can decide to add your own icon and the level and also the small icon that will be used right there in the account. If you go to your device to check the account, uh, you're going to see that the app will create its account right there amongst those accounts you have there. You have Gmail, you have some other big spoke application accounts created because they also use a sync adapter in the application. Let's look at the sync adapter itself. Uh, whereby you declare the content authority. We've talked about the content authority and the account type. Now, if the user is visible, we set that to first. And if it's supporting upload, a sync adapter can do two things. Uh, two things. When I say two things, I mean it can download data from cloud and also sync data from the content provider or SQLite database or from files down to the cloud as well. So it can do two things. Uh, they go. It can it can download the data you wanted, and it can also sync the data from the uh, provider down to the cloud service. So that's that's why we add four since we are not actually uploading data to the cloud. And you can also allow the parallel sync, uh, which we you can set to force for now. So you must always set the sync able to true since we have we're going to specify the interval of syncing data so that's why that is true we have that set once you have that set up you move ahead to the sync package itself now we have the movie authenticator and the authenticator service a run down through it the movie authenticator extends the abstract account authenticator very important you need to set up this uh whereby we have the constructor that takes in the context and we instantiate it using the super. No properties to edit. You just have the edit properties. What about you? it's been override, overridden from the bundle? You set the authenticator response. And uh, because we are not actually adding an account to the device, you just return null. Uh, you have the account authenticator response, the string, uh, the second string, the string array, and the bundle. So you 
decide to throw the network error exception if that uh, occur. Now we are ignoring attempts to confirm credentials. This actually confirms the credentials. Or we are also getting an authentication token, which is not uh, supported. Uh, I just want you to just have this as a boilerplate. This is like a template structure, which you should always have anytime you are trying to start up your sync adapter. And we also update the user credentials, uh, which you have that as well. And you check for features for the account, all not supported for now. Cool. Let's look at the movie authentication service. This extends the service, uh, whereby the instance field stores the authenticator object. We have the movie authenticator object. And in the create, we instantiate the new authenticator object. And when the system binds to the service to make the RPC call, you return the authenticator binder. What well, about we return the binder here? If you notice, uh, we get the binder. This actually sets up the account and also the authenticator. Uh, These are uh, what you, you actually need to start up with. And uh, you also need to check out the manifest pretty fast. Firstly, you need to lock in the service, the authenticator service, which we declared. And uh, it's insert filter, which is the Android account account authenticator. And also the metadata that is for uh, lower versions of Android. This also runs up to the 3.0 downwards. It's quite uh, robust, the sync adapter. We have the name that points to the account authenticator, as well as the XML, which we declared, which is the authenticator.xml. We have that locked in. You also need to lock in your provider, uh, the, the name of the provider, which is the movie provider, the authority, that's the authority that can assess the provider, the movie's data sync, and exported for, since we are not uh, exposing the provider to other applications for now. That's why we had that to be forced. It could be true with that setup are uh, you ready to go uh with your sync adapter in the next uh tutorial we'll be talking about syncing the this typical course which is uh getting the data we need from the apis and we integrate it with the sync adapter and also create the service uh, with that we'll be able to lock in our service into xml and finish up with the sync adapter so thank you guys for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial. Don't go anywhere. We still have the sync adapter coming up. Bye-bye for now.